Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can play Wii games on the Wii U without a sensor bar. So as you're already aware, you can play Wii games on the Wii U because it's backward compatible, which is really good. But you do require a sensor bar up here. But the gamepad down here has a sensor strip built into it, either side of the camera there. But when you do this, you can only do it on the actual gamepad itself. But by doing this little trick, you can still do it on the TV. So these sensor bars are really cheap, so the easiest thing is just to go out and buy a new sensor bar if it fails. But while you're doing that, you can use this trick, or for whatever reason, if you don't want to use the sensor bar because you don't play that many Wii games, or, for example, you might have a cat or an animal or something that keeps chewing through it. So right now that is completely disconnected and we will still be able to use the Wii remotes on the TV by using the sensor strip up here. So what we're going to do is let's move this just in front of the TV a bit more so when we're playing we aim at this strip here. So instead of aiming at the sensor bar we're going to use this strip. All we have to do is turn on the Wii U and when we get to the Wii U logo we just need to hold down B. So let's do that now. Okay, so I've got the Wii U screen there. I'm going to hold down the B, and it says here the Wii menu will open. So I'm just going to go into that there, pick one of the users, and now it will open straight into the Wii menu. So this way, we're not going through the Wii U to get to the Wii, we're going straight into the Wii menu from startup, and that will allow us to use the Wii remote controls. So I'm just going to get this working. Remember this will have to be previously synced up. And now it says press A to continue. So now I'm going to press A. And if you have a look now, what you'll see is this little strip here. Can you see now I'm using, let me just move this out a little bit. You can see now I'm using the Wii remote but I'm aiming it at the sensor strip. So if I was to cover it up, can you see the hand goes back? So it's using the sensor strip on top of the Wii U gamepad. So that's a really easy way to do it because normally, if you try to do it via the Wii U menu, it asks you to point this at the TV and choose whether you want to select TV or TV and gamepad. And obviously you can't do that if your sensor is broken. Right, I'm going to show you another way to do it now. Go back to the Wii U menu. Now that, the way I just showed you there is the easiest way because you don't have to have anything else to enable it to work. But let's say if you do want to do it from the Wii U menu for whatever reason, there is another way of doing it. Now the other way, you will need the use of a classic controller to be able to do this. Right, okay, so I'm gonna Again, move it around. Obviously now you can see that there's nothing moving around on screen. Whether I point it down here, no point in pointing at the TV because there's nothing there. But if I go to the Wii menu now, it will say select a display option, TV only and TV and gamepad. But I can't select anything because I can only press cancel here or it's not. I can't change the screen. I can't get that screen down onto here. So I've got no option to select TV or TV and gamepad, but it does say down here, press the plus on the Wii remote to set the display to the Wii U gamepad screen. So it's fine, we can have it work in here fine, all we've got to do is press the plus and then it will only work here, it will turn off the TV. But in this video I want to show you it working on the TV because it's more enjoyable using this when you're on the big screen instead of the little gamepad. So, so all we have to do is plug in the classic controller. So we get the classic controller, we're going to plug it in there. And now, if you have a look now, we've got the cursor up here. So now we can use the classic controller and go to TV only or TV and gamepad. Well, I'm going to keep it as TV and gamepad, because if I go to TV only, it's not going to recognise this sensor strip down here, it's going to turn this off. So I'm going to go to TV and gamepad and press A. And now it's going to go to the Wii menu and I'll be able to use the Wii remote via the sensor strip on top of the Wii U gamepad, or I can use a classic controller to move around the place. Personally, I prefer using this because it seems more accurate than using the pointer. So press A to continue. And 
And now if you have a look up here, you can see now I'm using this here to move around the place. And if you pick this up, you can still use this. So this works just like it did before, but then when you put this one down, it will then go over to the classic controller. So let's go to a bit of Mario Kart. And as you can see, it's working with the classic controller. So there you go, so that's how you play Wii games on the Wii U without a sensor bar, which is really useful if you've broken this one and you're in the process of buying a new one. So if you do that first option, it's so easy because when you just boot up the console to begin with, you just hold the B button down, keep holding it, while the Wii U logo appears, and it brings you straight to the Wii mode. So instead of going into the Wii U menu, it bypasses that straight into the Wii mode, and you've just got to choose who you're going to log in with, and then it doesn't bring you that Wii U option, so it doesn't give you those options about pointing this at the TV. Straight into Wii mode, and it works fine. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.